so I'm like, oh, these are gonna be shorter because I'm like doing them in small installments, and it's like, OMG, it's not. What? What? I, I, I feel like I said something, and I, I don't quite remember. Anyways, yeah, like I was saying, that I don't stab your eye out, Travis. <laughs> Mm. I did I did point two and I'm like, oh, I'm making these shorter, so I'm because I'm putting them in installments and it's going to be wonderful and yay That was like nine minutes and just about twenty seconds, I don't I, I think it was like sixteen or something. If you want to be technical uh <laughs> sorry. So yeah, anywho, I think I remember the rest. See, uh, I've probably mentioned this before, but in last semester it was seventh hour, but in this semester, um, sixth hour, I'm a student assist to one of the Spanish teachers, um, a Señorita Joaquin, Joaquin, if you're going to be like a Mexican, in my high school. And um, the poor lady, she's had a rough time lately. I think it was my freshman or sophomore year. Sophomore year. She found out she had cancer and had to go and undergo chemo and the whole stuff. This year, she had a knee replacement not that long ago. And lately, she's been having problems with the knee replacement. There's too much scar tissue. Um, she can't bend the knee very far. So, Thursday and Friday, she's going in to have the scar tissue removed. The poor lady, she's constantly in surgery. I feel bad for her. But, I'm trying to make these shorter. So, moving right along. Sixth hour is a Spanish two. And I help. Well, actually, I don't help out that much. I wish I would. But, you know, there's only so much she can like, legally, I guess, let me do. So I grade papers from time to time. Mostly I sit in there and read or do homework. But it's it's better than the study halls were. That was very bleh. So, yeah. Anyways, so she only has one Spanish two, and that's sixth hour. So while she's gone Thursday and Friday, um, I'm guessing Thursday they're taking out the scar tissue, and Friday and the weekend is her recovery. She's, she's actually very fast at recovery. She she came back way sooner after her knee replacement than the sub who'd also had a knee replacement before thought she would. So she's an awesome lady. And she's amazing at Spanish. <laughs> Anywho. So she knows that um, I'm in Spanish 4. Uh, that's one. I'm really good at Spanish. I'm not bragging, I'm just saying a fact. Okay, there's a little bragging there. <laughs> uh, I'm really good with language grammar stuff. Yeah, she knows that. And she knows I also intend on teaching. The magic four. Uh, so, therefore, leading up to what I was trying to say the whole time, she is having moi, that's French for me, in case you don't know that. Right, Spanish. Ella, what would it be? Ella está teniendo mi a aprend no aprender is to learn. <laughs> All right. I'm not perfect with Spanish. I never admitted to be, but I'm better than Spanish 2 level. Anyways, she's having me teach that Spanish class. So the sub, because there legally has to be a, uh, you know, a major, not a major, uh, a, a certified perfect state chosen person. Sounds, anyway. 
So in the room, they can't just let them run wild. So there'll be the sub there, but the sub won't really, they'll just sit in the back. And I will get a chance to try teaching the class. And she told me what she was going to have them doing was reviewing um, regular preterite conjugations of AR verbs. For you, those of you who know Spanish, well, that makes sense. For those of you who don't, there's no way to explain it without explaining Spanish. Yeah, so I think that she's told me basically what she wants me to do. Um, she's giving me a little free reign. And she'll talk with me more some, some tomorrow, which is Wednesday. Thursday is day after tomorrow. And we'll, we'll make sure we're all on the same page, and then I'll have it all under control. And I'm thinking it should go well. My only really worry, real, bleh, my only real worry is overwhelming the poor people in Spanish. Because I do this at home. Uh, because my mother knows un poquito de español. Y mi padre, uh, él sabe, uh, más entonces mi madre de español. Uh, por eso hablo español uh, en mi casa mucho <laughs> and the problem is I tend to be very overwhelming with my Spanish which if you're watching this you understand <laughs> so that's the only thing I'm really worried about is they're only Spanish too and I'm I'm not saying they don't know their stuff I haven't been with them that long I'm just worried that I'm going to stand up there and go, you know, what? Hola, clase, ¿cómo estáis? And they'll be like, I'll be like, Noticias de vuestras vidas? And they'll be like, And I really don't want that to happen. I don't want to be overwhelming. Because we had Senor Pockets. Anyone from Freeport High who took Spanish from Miss Walkland during the time she was gone knows who Senor Pockets is. I'm not going to say anymore. I don't want to hurt his reputation. He's a nice guy. He just has a really, really different style of teaching. It's just very overwhelming. It's in your face. I mean, it's kind of funny. He, he throws in jokes. He tries to make it interesting. But he's just like right there teaching you Spanish. And it's not aggressive. It's just too much personality. You're sitting there trying to learn from him, and you're going, Tone it down, please. Por favor. So, yeah. I just hope I don't end up being like pockets. <laughs> if I am, they'll call me Senor Scarf. <laughs> Bufanda. And that's another bad habit I've picked up. I clack my teeth at the end of things. Okay, this is probably way gone over time, so I really hope it hasn't. I'm going to stop it right now, and if I have something more to say, there'll be a point four. If not, oh well. If I don't, I love you all. Hello! Thank you for watching! I won't say that very often because it gets really annoying. Ta-ta!